In this short screencast, we'll go from weight percent to more percent and vice versa, and look at how weight percent changes when you dilute the double weight. So we're going to look at three examples, translating from more percent to weight percent if we have 30 more percent of A and thus 70 more percent of B, we're assuming a binary system, and we have the molar masses given as 50 and 18 gram per mole respectively. The second example is translating from weight percent to more percent if we have 48% of A. And the last example is how does the weight fraction, the weight percent change when we dilute to double weight. And my strong recommendation here is that you pause here and try first on your own before you continue. Okay, let's take the first example. More percent to weight percent. The given are that we have 30 more percent of A and 50 and 18 gram per mole respectively. And the easiest way to do this is probably to use a basis of calculation. And since we have the molar fraction given, let's use n tot equals one mole as our basis of calculation, because then we can easily calculate how many moles of A we have. Simply 0.3 times one, that's 0.3 mole. And nb, that's 0.7 times one is 0.7 mole. And now we can calculate how many grams we have. Number of mole times molar mass, so 0.3 times 50, that's 15. And 0.7 times 18, that's 12.6. And now we can calculate the weight fraction simply as 15 divided by 15 plus 12.6, and that's 0 0.54. 54 weight percent. Okay, the second example, going from weight percent to mole percent, given 40 weight percent of A and thus 60 of B and the same molar masses, 50 for A and 18 gram per mole for B. And since we have the weight fraction given, let's use the basis of calculation one gram in total, which means that we can easily calculate how many grams we have of A, 0.4, and how many grams we have of B, 0.6. And thus we can calculate how many moles we have. The grams divided by the molar mass, so 0.4 divided by 50, that's 0.008 and 0 0.6 divided by 18, that's 0 0.0333. And we can calculate the molar fraction as 0 0.008 yeah. divided by 0 0.008 plus 0 0.0333. And we get 0 0.19. The last example, dilute the double weight that you need to do in the lab on distillation. And if we have in the beginning here, the weight fraction given, well, the weight fraction is how many grams you have of A divided by how many grams you have in total. Now, when you dilute the double weight, you keep MA the same and you double M tot by adding B. So the new M tot equals two of the old M tot and MA remains the same, which means that our new weight fraction equals the mass of A divided by the new M tot, but the new M tot is twice as big. So therefore we get the new weight fraction as the old weight fraction divided by two. 